Hey guys, Diana here from Garden Love. Today, I actually want to give you guys a tour of my side slash backyard um, edible garden. So let's go ahead and take a look. I'm growing tons of edibles here in my landscape, but trying my best to make it look aesthetically pleasing. So you guys tell me what you guys think about how I lay things out and how they look. All right, I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys um, get some ideas and learn from this. So I do love to grow succulents. I have a water bath right there, as you guys can see. Uh, I have my banana succulents that grow like crazy here. And my garden, I have a baby little apple tree here that I saved from a nursery that was uh, about to be thrown away. Um, and yeah, it's a tiny little dwarf apple tree. It hasn't grown much. As you can see right here, I have my half avocado. That's the first thing you see when you enter the side of my yard. It's in a wine barrel growing fantastically. I topped it off. It's getting tons of new leaves. I transplanted it as well, and it's doing fantastic. Since I transplanted, it lost all its old leaves, and it has tons of new baby leaves. As you can see, they are humongous. All right, so that's that. Look at these beautiful uh, flowers. Well, they're about to be flowers. And I have them in containers. And then this is an edible plant. This is actually the Laura Bay leaf. So I constantly harvest some of these leaves. My mom, every time she comes, she takes some leaves so she can dry them out and use them for her cooking. And as you guys can see, one of my pride and joys that I've recently up potted into these humongous um uh what do you call them crates i guess uh is my weeping mulberry they are amazing it has tons of food growing look at this Let's see if i can show you guys a better view look at that isn't that fabulous oh my god guys some of them are already getting a little bit of pink so you guys can see i am so excited to eat those and what I did to make it aesthetically pleasing and beautiful, I put some flowers in a container, double container, so that actually the um, roots aren't commingling with the edible tree. And I finally found some potato vines with this beautiful foliage color, and I'm hoping that it um, grows and kind of like overflows and lays on top of those banana um, succulents. And I think the contrast between those two colors is gonna look amazing. I do love to grow some succulents here and there, so I have some succulents there and I'm going to put some clippings so they can sprout. As you guys can see, the jasmine is growing here very beautifully. Look at that. And I have a few little flowers here. I'm going to put something there. I'm not sure what. And here is my other weeping mulberry. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I am so in love with this. And as you can see, this tree already has some fruit that's slowly ripening so pretty guys i'm trying to go through this as quick as possible because i know nobody likes super fast um, vi um super long videos but oh, there's just so much to show guys i love my succulents look at that look at how pretty that is amazing and i did the same thing here i put some flowers some banana succulents i put my potato vine right there they're slowly growing i recently put this pomegranate on the ground and i recently did a video of that pomegranate talking about watering your containers and your fruit trees um, if you guys haven't seen that i'll link, link that right above um, that way you guys can um hear me talk about the topic <laughs> about watering your trees and containers because the watering is definitely different from that than when you water in the ground Okay, so I have two pomegranate trees, one in a huge container and one in the ground. All right, let's keep going, guys. Here's my navel orange. This was recently up potted as well. And I'm so sorry for that dog. That is not my dog. It's the neighbor's dog. I apologize. I know he, they can be annoying when you're trying to enjoy a peaceful garden tour. <laughs> There's my little cutie. Hi, Chesty. And before we continue in the garden, I want to show you guys here. I have a tree tucked in here. And this is my four-in-one peach tree. 
as you can see the peaches are doing fantastic uh, oh my god i'm excited last year i harvested quite a handful and that's tucked in in a container in this corner behind our trampoline and i just most recently read it up i guess gave it a facelift this um landscape uh, i made it i made it look a little bit more appealing because it was looking pretty ugly and sad it was a, a project under 200 dollars. i'm going to be posting that here pretty soon but i have a container here growing strawberries as you can see those i have a little seedling of a loquat that was gifted to me and then i have here a squash i want to be growing squash for cooking this summer so i have that in the middle of all of that let's see and then as you guys can see i'm gonna come over here this is my white fig tree this was over winter as crazy as that is all of this is new leaves but for some reason this fig decided to stick around from from last um last season and i have my real red here that i transplanted into the ground it went through some shock um this was a little hack that i did a video it should either be posted or be posted here shortly and i'll talk to you guys about why i did this and what purpose it has right now anyways but this is my real red hopefully well i can already see signs of new leaves it went into a major shock but it's coming back from it let me show you guys my seedling lemon actually no this is not a lemon this is a lime and it's the bigger limes not the little mexican limes a bigger lime right here i have in this container this goji berry never tasted it never grown it before but this is my attempt to have a beautiful edible landscape and this is a pretty plant so i'm going to put it in the container and hopefully it'll give us some fruit my jujube fruit tree look at how amazing that's doing it still needs a new home but for now it's in a container sitting there behind this birch tree i have over here one of my most favorite spots that i just love to come to um last year i couldn't stay away from my courtyard the front of my house and this year this is a spot i just can't seem to stay away over here on the right as you guys can see i have my white nectarine i did a video on that as well if you guys want to know about that know more about that but it has um some beautiful fruit i'll show you in a second i have here my loquat i have an apple tree I have over here a tomato, a grapevine, and a gold berry growing, be all of that before this fence. Um, and we're going to go into the, after <laughs> I tell you, show you guys each one of these items, I'm going to um, go to the other side of the fence and show you what I have over there. But for now, let me show you. I have my nectarines. Look at that. I know you guys seen this in an exclusive video I made about this, vi this tree. But I'm so excited because this is one of the sweetest nectarines I've ever tried. Um, period. Not just uh, in my garden. I mean like period. It, the sweetest nectarine I've ever tried in my whole life. And as you can see here I put a pathway and I'm trying to grow some grass and some little plants. So it could fill these little gaps in between the stones. I put some ice seculans. Those are so easy to propagate. I have a video on that as well. I decided to give it a try to grow a tomato right there and then I have a grapevine not, not far from it and it's growing and hopefully it can grow and reach to my pergola so we will see and now this is a plan that I'm going to step back for and show you guys this some people seem to think it's a tomatillo plan because you see those little lanterns in there they look like little tomatillos, but in fact, they are not. This is a plant called Goldberry. They have so many names, like cherry. They're like um, ch ground cherries. What it is, is there's a little tiny round um, ball in there that's going to be a goldberry. It's so tiny, it's going to be color gold, and it's supposed to be really sweet. Um, I haven't tasted it, but I'm excited to taste it. It's a pretty plant. It's filling up this spot of my garden and landscape. Very pretty. I love the way it looks. And I'm excited that it's also going to produce fruit for me and my family. This is an apple tree that I transplanted from someone's house. 
and I recently transplanted it into the ground because it was living in a wine barrel for about a year. I wanted to make sure it was going to survive the transplant before I decided to put it in the ground because I accidentally broke the trunk. I'm sure you guys have heard that story many, many, many times. But now that I'm coming here <laughs> into this other section of my garden, I have some containers here. I have two raised beds from Birdies and I have my amazing passion fruit growing along this trellis my husband and I um, built and this trellis was built to help this um, um, I'm sorry passion fruit grow and help also uh, create a little bit of a privacy but let's start over here I overwintered these chilies there's about three plants in here honestly since I've overwintered them for two winters already I don't know what kind of chilies they are I just know that they're mildly spicy and they're good to add in salsas I also have a rosemary growing out of this pot because this pot has the system that I constantly use. There's two pots in there. I put the empty pot in there and then I put the soil for this layer and then the pot that the, the chilies are in are inside the, the container right under that. So that way I can grow things in this layer and I can grow things in the pot. And now this is my Pakistanian mulberry. Look at that. How pretty is that? so pretty this tree is so pretty i love the leaves i love the plant it's just so pretty the leaves are shaped as a heart as you can see they're amazing guys i love it and then i have my stella cherry so you guys can see also growing in a container and they are doing amazing hopefully i'm going to get some fruit i don't know how to tell um the flowers if they're flowers or if they're just little buds I guess we'll find out within time if we'll get some cherries or not. This is a berry of some sort. I lost the label. Wait a minute. Here it is. I heard these are some of the best berries. It's the Navajo blackberry. So I'm very excited about that. And right here, I'm going to experiment by putting three tomatoes in the ground. Over the years, I've been amending the soil right here. And hopefully, um, these tomatoes do well. I trimmed them and um, hopefully we get some tomatoes soon. Now let's go back over here and look at the race beds. As you can see, there's some mature plants right there and you might wonder, wow, what's going on over there? Why does she have plants that big with these amazing Bel uh, Anaheim peppers already? There's tons of them on this plant as you can see. They're all over this plant. Well, I was lucky enough to overwinter these plants and I actually overwinter them in this spot. I actually, they were right here where they were able to get some sun. They unfortunately were also able to get some frost, but thankfully this, I think the fact that we live between two homes that are very close, um, maybe there wasn't that much frost that affected these plants. And once I saw that they survived, I moved one back there and I moved one right there. And those, that's the spot they're going to be on for the rest of the summer. And I have a few things growing here. I'm going to put some basil. I have a tomato, some, um, sriracha chilies, another tomato, some herbs and a zucchini. I have a raspberry plant that I haven't put in the ground because I had an idea about growing raspberries um, as a little hedge, but then realized that they're very invasive and I'm not quite sure if I want to put them in the ground now. So I'm still holding on to them in the containers. Here's some little sprouts that I'm using this as a little greenhouse to help them, um, you know, um, get used to the sun from bringing them inside. Now my other raised bed here, I have three tomatoes. Now these tomatoes are the little tomatoes, so they're not going to get crazy big like these will. So I think they'll be fine growing next to each other. If not, I can always pull the middle one out and just give it some more space. Um, and the rest of the raised beds, I have some sriracha and jalapenos. I also have a cucumber in the back. And I have a lot of little basil plants because I want to do pesto. I loved pesto last year and I plan on just enjoying it again this year and making more of it my kids love it my husband love it and i love it now this is actually a guess what some of you guys might recognize this this i'm very excited to have in my garden it's actually the rosella red plant that i've been trying to grow for the last few years um and this is the first time that i was able to grow it from seed and actually be able to successfully plant it out here in the garden i hope that this is the right spot for it 
but I guess we will find out. <laughs> so yes, guys, this is my edible garden. Um, this is going to be a yellow squash, and I put here kale, and that's about it. Oh, uh, let's see here. Some of you guys might recognize this tree. So I did a video on it. Unfortunately, it died over winter. I haven't pulled it out to see exactly what happened inside of it because I did some composting in, with a pumpkin, a white pumpkin that I had from last Halloween. And I noticed that they sprouted. And one of the things that my daughter wanted to grow last year, my daughter Lily, is a pumpkin. She wanted to have her very own pumpkin. So therefore, I am going to take advantage of this dead tree and use it as a trellis and see how that goes. I also put in a little tomato here, tomato plant, the little cherry tomatoes. That's not going to take up a lot of space, but if it does, I'll pull it out. No biggie, guys. <laughs> Just learn, work, and improvise. All right, I've been talking so much because I want to share so much and I'm trying to hurry so you guys don't get bored of this video. I hope you guys make it till the end because I want to show you this amazing tree that I finally got on the ground. Um, I hope by now I posted this video, how I put this in the ground and it seems to be doing great. It hasn't lost its leaves, it hasn't lost its flowers, it hasn't lost its fruit. And this is my Satsuma mandarin um i thought this would be a great addition because this tree doesn't grow as big and as tall as most and it grows eight to ten feet tall and i it just depends you know how you manage it so i just want it to fulfill this fence so it can have an edible barrier between the front of my garden and the back of my bear my garden because i don't like it when people come in from my courtyard they can see everything and as you can see <laughs> this is my messy um, side of the garden where i keep all my extra stuff my soils my containers my tools and if i can just do like a little privacy fence right there that's creating some wonderful fruit to share with my family that would just be amazing guys and i'm trying to do my best to you know to add plants here and make them edible and be able to not only make it edible but make it beautiful i love looking at beautiful gardens and honestly all gardens are beautiful and everybody has a different style and different ways of growing things and um you know this is my style this is what i do I'm hoping that you guys can take a look at some of the things that I'm doing here in an urban um, lot and get some ideas and hopefully you guys are inspired to try to do the same. I mean, this space here is maybe from that side to that side, maybe five feet and length is probably 12 feet. So this space is small and yet I'm growing a lot of things. You guys can see my passion fruit it's creating a privacy wall, but it's also going to give me some amazing fruit to make some f some fruit punch with, share it with my neighbors and with my family. And I'm just so, so thrilled to be able to do this, guys. Um, I don't know how long this video has been, but I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you guys made it all the way to this moment, to the, to the end. And that you guys had any ideas. If you guys did make it to the end and you guys can hear what I'm about to tell you, please leave a comment and tell me what idea was your favorite idea, what you thought um, that you can do in your garden. And if you have any questions, questions, I would love to answer them. For now, if you want to look at more videos like this, click in the video right here and right here. Or click, click right here to subscribe to my channel. Alright guys, you guys have a great day and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.